Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I'm so glad that you're with me. This is our opportunity to get our minds aligned with the truth of God's Word. And we are beginning a new series today called When You Were Saved. And this is my attempt to help us all walk through some of the glorious truths about what happens in our lives when we receive what Jesus has to offer. Now, you know, might notice I said some of the things because I don't even think I'm going to be able to plumb the depths of this in no matter how long this series is because it's such a glorious and powerful set of truths that we're going to be digging into. Now, as we get started, I want you to think for a moment about your worst and most regretted sins. I'm not asking you to do that, to put a damper on your day or to make you feel guilty. I want you to have that in mind because it's going to relate powerfully to what we have to talk about today. Now, before we get into that, I want to welcome those who are listening over in Asia and in Eastern Europe. As I'm looking at my map, I see that people in Russia are listening. I see people in Kazakhstan are listening, people in Kazakhstan, people in Mongolia, people in China, people in India, in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in Iran, in Iraq. Thank you so much for listening. If you know people in those countries or countries in that area who are missionaries or Christians, please share the morning mindset with them. Let's spread the morning mindsets more and more around the world. All right, friends, let's look at the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse number 43. This verse is going to be the basis from which we're going to explore this idea of us receiving forgiveness of sins when we place our faith in Jesus Christ. You see, when we use that term saved, someone got saved or someone's received salvation, we're talking about something Jesus did for them. He saved them from something. And this verse outlines how he has saved us from our sins. Acts chapter 10, verse 43 says, To him, meaning Jesus, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. So let's dig into that for a moment so we can make sure we understand. First off, this is the apostle Peter speaking. And he's speaking to a group of people who have gathered in the home of a Roman centurion named Cornelius. And these people wanted to understand what had happened regarding Jesus Christ. And Peter is pointing back to the Old Testament prophets, which the Romans wouldn't have known anything about. They may have heard the term and understood that those Jewish people have prophets, but they didn't understand that the point of at least 50% of the prophecies was to point God's people, Israel, to their Messiah who was coming. And this is what Peter's referring to when he says, to him, to Jesus, all the prophets bear witness. See, he's saying the prophets were telling us ahead of time, this Messiah is coming. And now in the person of Jesus, he has come. And it says, here is what they were bearing witness to, that everyone who believes in him receives something and they receive forgiveness of sins through his name. Now, friends, this is why I asked you to think about that very worst and most regretted sin in your life, because I want you to recognize as heavy as the weight of that feels and as powerful of a hold as the guilt of it may have on you, that sin can be forgiven. Think about the impact of that, friends. You can be set free from the weight of that guilt. And not only that, but all other sins that you've ever committed, and more so, that you still have to commit. Friends, when Jesus died on the cross, he did so to enable us to be forgiven of our sins. And most of us who are followers of Christ would say, amen, really loudly. We understand this. It's one of the basics of what happens when we're saved. But friends, it only comes through the name of Jesus, meaning It only comes through the work he's done and through our faith in that. So I encourage you, whether you're a follower of Christ or one who says, I don't know about this Jesus stuff yet, I want to encourage you to consider the impact of this promise that your sins, all of them, can be forgiven. 
Jesus, empower us today to receive your forgiveness actively, presently, in our day today, that we will walk as forgiven people. We will shirk the guilt. We will push off the condemnation, and we will recognize Jesus Christ through the death and resurrection he experienced has made a way for us to be forgiven. Jesus, fill us up with your power, with your strength to live as lights in this world who point people to you. That's our desire today. In your name we pray.